over the past two years, I think I've seen more and more missions and, and um, churches that are looking into how they can best support children uh, and vulnerable families. So uh, I can say that there is a movement towards switching from supporting institutional care orphanages to investing in children and families at community level because there is a better understanding that institutions are not working for children. And I think there is a growing understanding that financially investing in children and family has a huge return on investment. Christian Alliance for Orphans is, I believe, one of the biggest organizations bringing together a significant number of uh, Christian faith-based organizations all supporting orphans, children and families across the world. We had the privilege to, to be part of the summit at the invitation of, of CAFO. Attending CAFO summit is critical for Hope and Homes for Children because it gives us an opportunity to establish new strategic partnerships. Uh, our aim is to eradicate institutional care and to provide alternatives to develop prevention, community-based services, to, to help strengthen families, as well as develop high-quality family-based alternative care. We can't do it alone. Uh, and at global level, CAFO, uh, I believe, could be one of our strategic partners in helping achieve this goal for the children and, and families that we are serving. I am going to be involved over the three days of the conference in, in different ways. It's quite a busy schedule. Um, I will be presenting um, the issue of deinstitutionalization from the perspective of a trauma-informed care for children under the age of three. Um, I will be part uh, in panel conversations and workshops, and I will actually run a couple of workshops. One on deinstitutionalization and transitioning from supporting orphanages to supporting children and families, and one around preventing families from becoming vulnerable and preventing separation of, of children. I do believe it's going to be very interesting and also I hope it's going to be fun for the participants.